Hello and welcome to the introduction to my Skyrim playthrough. Um, so obviously this is an introduction video which means that I have already played this in the past before I started recording stuff. So I am already quite through the game, although this game is massive and I'm probably not even that far into the game. Uh, if I go to, what is it, here, um, I don't even know what the main mission is anymore. Uh, this one, I think. Right. I think this is the the main mission the main storyline one uh so if you know where this is in the story that's how far i am i don't really know how far i am in the story i am level 31 and i have done the um the knights i don't know the thieves guild mission where you become one of these people it should say in my no wrong button I haven't played this game for a while. It should say in my apparel... Nightingale. I have completed the Nightingale um, missions. Um, so I have got all the Nightingale armour. Just because I basically did the Nightingale mission because I think this armour looks badass. Um, keep on pressing L3 to run. So yeah, so this introduction video will basically be, be showing you everything that I've done so far. I don't know where the hell my job's going. Um, so yeah, let's... No, wrong button again. Right, let's go to the map. So obvious... Oh god, blimmin' hell. Where am I? Um... That's Riverwood, as I was dead. So at the beginning of the game, you start, you start on a um, on a car, uh, on a carriage about to get beheaded, um, and you arrive in Ivestead when a dragon comes and disrupts the whole thing, and you escape through a cave, and you come out here, I believe, and then you go down into Riverwood, something like that. Anyway. So I've uh, done all that, and the next thing you go to White Run, and you become the White Run Thane or Thrain or something, and you get a house there. So I've done all that. So I will show you my house. That's just the starting house, really, at, um, at White Run. So there's not much there, really, but I've done it, so I will show you it. So yeah, as you see in the top right there, I am level 31. Oh, sunset, beautiful. What business do college mages have in a place like Sarkon, anyway? It's I died. Yeah, what do you need? these Alec warriors, I don't understand why they're still here. They should have went, like, ages ago. But, I don't know, I swear I, I, I must have glitched the game or something. So, Bree's home is the home that you get in White Run. And this is my home. Obviously, I haven't added any furniture into this home. Because um, I literally just used it for storage. Oh, let me know. You've just got the guest room that you're not even allowed to do anything in. And yeah, just my room with a bunch of rubbish in here. This is just, I don't know, this is a bunch of stuff that I want to keep for some reason. I'm i am a bit of a hoarder when it comes to games. I like just keeping random stuff that I like the look of. I don't know why a bunch of, like, pelts in here, though. And a bunch of staffs, just, yeah, I don't know. And a little of Talos. That should really be in my other house, but... Never mind. Yeah, it's just a bunch of rubbish in there, basically. But I will show you what I've got, actually, while I'm here. How many times I'm going to say actually. Alright, so I've got Chill Ren, which is one of the, like, the special swords that you get. 
I I think I think that's a special sword. Um, a bunch of arrows because you just pick them up and they don't weigh anything, so you might as well just pick them up. Mace of Molag Bowl. I'm pretty sure I did the Molag Bowl mission by accident. I didn't even realise that I was doing it because he's meant to be like some weird. He's a weird ass character. He's, he, He's like a bad demon thing, and like, I didn't really, my character's meant to be like a good guy, um, and I'm pretty sure Molak Bowl was quite a bad, evil guy, and I kind of just sold my, sold myself, my soul to him or something, I can't remember. Nightingale Bow, obviously, because I got the Nightingale set, um, some stuff, uh, so yeah, I thought I had, I swore I dual wielded. Oh, maybe I dual wield with that. I think, yeah, I don't know. I do something. Uh, my apparel, um, all the knight and go armor, obviously. Um, I've got the silver blood family ring because it increases weapons and armor by 15%. Um, and the gold or amulet because it increases my health by 30 points. Uh, I don't need to look at that. Yeah, that's it basically. I with my father on Shut up, Majora. Into Morrowind. The cliff racer is made for excellent sport. Yeah, alright, whatever. Uh, so that, yeah, that's White Run covered, I think. Like, there's not much else to see in White Run that I've done. There's not much. No, it's just, it's just White Run really, isn't it? Um, so what else have I done? Um, I've done a lot, but I can't just show you what I've done unless I can show you the houses I have. I don't think I have the house in Riften. I'm pretty sure you can ha get a house in Riften. Uh, I don't think I have it because I don't really need it at this point. Um, uh, da -da -da. Where is it that... So, I think it's, yeah, because that's my mana. So in full, uh, full creep, you can, you can do a bunch of missions for the Yarl there, um, and you become their Thrain or Thane, or I can't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, so you become their, their Thane, um, and they give you, um, a plot of, of land to build a house on, and that, that's part of the, claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. That's part of the Breeze Home um, DLC. So I got that. Um, where's the actual? Oh, don't tell. Oh, I hate these random dragon attacks. They're so annoying. I'm just gonna ignore them. Let everyone else deal with them. Where's the... I can never... There you go. Yeah, so that, that's the Jarl's longhouse. I wonder if he's in there. I like where I can just go inside in the middle of a dragon attack. I probably won't be able to fast travel in a minute, though. He's not inside. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I did all these missions. I talked to the Jarl, and I got the Breeze home. Which I will go and show you now. Just after I completely kill this dragon. I should probably equip um, my weapons though. keep all my dragon bones and scales because you can't make dragon bone armor later on in the game I've, I'm nowhere near that point but I know you can do it um, and I've got a 
bunch of bows. I have so many bows. That's really weird. Uh, where's my home from here? Yep. Um. Right. Let's go to my manor. So this place is sold to you by the Jarl of Falkreath as just like a plot of land that you can build on, and that's part of the Bree. Um. It's part of the DLC, I forget what the DLC is called. I wonder if it tells me on the back of the disc. Uh, Hearthfire DLC. Um, and yeah, when you start, it's just like an empty plot of land. And you use this workbench to to build it up. And I think I've pretty much finished it. I also have a horse. My character's called Milo, by the way. I tried to make it like... I don't know, I tried to make it seem fantasy-ish. Um, I'll take you on a tour of the outside. I've got my cows, I've got my chickens. I've got my balcony up here. Uh, got the back side of it. I've got my little beehive farm. I've got this other... Oh, what is my character doing? This other balcony here. Um, Oh, this is like a like a flower farm or, or whatever you want it to be. Um, be careful. Shut up. So yeah, I just take you on the inside part of it. So this first room is like the basic room, the first room that you build, um, and stuff. So this is all furnished and everything. This chest. Oh, so this just has like a bunch of ore and ingots and all the like the buildable things that you need to have. Um, I think that's about it, really. I got a wooden plate in there apparently. Um, so yeah, that's, there's not. It's just really an entrance room to be fair. Uh, you got this main room here. Something in the chest. Is that who I'm married to? No, Majol. I think the Fajola's wedding band, that's part of a mission and like she doesn't want to be with her husband anymore so she gives us the, the wedding band for some reason. Um, yeah, so I just have a bunch of rubbish in here. Um, anything in this chest? That's a barrel, don't want to look in there. Oh yeah, so these are, this is my, this is where I have my, um, Dragon bones in. Black salt gem. It's worth a lot. Bust of the grey fox. So I'm just carrying on me. I'm just carrying a bust on me. I don't know where. Um, store them. Store them. Store the amethyst. Frost gauntlet. Gauntlet. Got a bit of money on me, haven't I? Um, anything else on me? Rubies, sell them, um, store the rubies, store the sapphire. I don't know why I'm storing these, I could sell them, but I've got quite a few stones of Baron Zaya. That's a mission, you need to collect all of them and give them to someone in the Thieves Guild and they give you something in return. <laughs> Um, Black Star Grand, what the hell is that? Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I don't know what I have and where it came from. Yeah, so this, um, chest is just like all the, like the, the stones, the precious stones, um, and the dragon bones. As you can see, I have 60 dragon bones and 68 dragon scales. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just all the pressure stuff. This is my armory room. I don't know why all my display cases are open. I don't want to. Um, yeah, so this is my armory and weaponry room. So, 
This is Thieves Guild armor. That I have now replaced. I was wearing, but I've now replaced with the Nightingale armor. I got a bunch of like cool swords and blades and stuff here. So blade of full crease that you get for um, doing stuff for the Yarl. Axe of White Run, which you get for doing for the Yarl of White Run. Blade of Winterhold, which you guessed it, you get for doing stuff for the Yarl of Winterhold. Nightingale Blade. Uh, why am I using that? Oh, I wasn't meant to take it, I just want to view it. Um, Nightingale Blade. That's because the stuff that I'm using at the moment is better, isn't it? Yes. So, I didn't just take something else down. No, can I activate with the rack? No, I don't. Um, you must have a weapon. Equipped, right, so equipped you. There you go, right. Yeah, so that's some cool swords I have. This is just random armory stuff that I've gotten along the journeys. Um this I don't think this is anything interesting. Well you got you got the mask of Sevilius Vile, which I think is the guy who owns the dog in that one cave. And you need to do a mission with the dog. I forgot what his name is. Um, yeah, just random stuff. I just put it there because it makes a cool mannequin. Anything in the cupboard? Just some random stuff. Anything in this cupboard? Can you get out of the way? Uh, just some random stuff. The help. Oh, oh. Anything in here? Search chest. Rings. This is my ring chest. Interesting. Anything in the cupboard? This is my also rings. Just random stuff. I don't care about your mother. Wrong woman. She's I bet the one she who was. Me on my sword fighting. Ebony blade. I have that just because it looks blooming cool. But I think that's a two-handed weapon, isn't it? So I can't like dual. I like dual wielding stuff. Um, Blackguard's armor. How did I get this? Oh, I think that's a. There's a guy who was in the Thieves Guild, and he has a special field scheme armor, which I think is this. I think that's right. Don't quote me on it. I might be wrong. Uh, and no. That's just some cool robes. That's just the wilderness people, the old god people. Oh, I just thought it looked cool. Some more blades. Grim's Reaver. Dawnbreaker. An ebony sword, just because it looked cool. And a gold or black bead. Um, anything in this cupboard. More stuff. I've already... Uh, have I searched this cupboard already? Yeah, um, pickaxe? Yeah, so that's that. Um, I've got a cellar as well, but there's nothing in there. Why are all my blooming display cases open? Um, so yeah, this is just a random room. Don't know what it does. Is there anything that's safer? No, it's empty. Ah, uh, so this is my bedroom. So... If you're wondering why my Joel is following me around, this is because she is my wife in this game. We got married in wherever it is. No, wrong one. World map, please, thank you. This place over here. Rifton. We got married in Rifton. Sorry about that. Um, Yeah, we got married in Rifton. And yeah, just because, I don't know. Is it? I'm pretty sure. I'm itching for a fight. Um, I'm pretty sure she's one of the most like attractive awesome. characters Let's in the go. game or something. That's why I chose her. Um, empty. I'm pretty sure I put some stuff in some of these strong boxes. Yeah. Nothing interesting though. Bounties I've had on me. 
yeah, it's just letters and stuff. Um, search the safe. Nothing interesting. I thought I saw stuff interesting, but apparently not. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so, Majol the Lioness is my wife, and before her you do get, um, another follower in Whiterun, and you get, and you get another follower for Full Creep as well, um, so they should be around here somewhere. I hope they're around here somewhere. They should be, they might be outside. I also have this guy, so this is like Nordic armor, I just think it looks cool. And Vol Song. Um, yes, so this is the upstairs part. Where what is that mean, girl? You're here. Where are you? Yes, Lydia! So she's the first. Um, she's the first follow that you get. Um, and I've just made her the. The house, no, not the house car. Have I made her the house car? No, that's what she normally is. I've just made her the Don't person worry. that looks after this house. And there is another girl, I presume she's outside, that you get for full grief. The house cars or full grief. I don't know where she is though. She's normally outside somewhere. Maybe she's normally like outside chopping stone or something, or wood. I don't know where she's gone. It doesn't matter too much. I uh, love the cold there. It's it exhilarating. Her. Where is Perhaps she? Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. I don't know where that the, my other house girl, girl is. She should be around. She'll probably turn up somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, but I think. That's pretty much the introduction done, really. Like, these are like Thieves Guild um, jobs, just because I like the Thieves Guild jobs. Um, I'm not doing the Dark Brotherhood just because my guy's meant to be like a, guy, a good guy. I did like accidentally kill one of the captives because I didn't, un I didn't realize that I could just kill the the woman. Um, Astrid, I think, is her name. Um, so, yes, I will progress my way through this game. Doing the... Our title of the video is like side quest or Thieves Guild quest or something like that. So you know when it's a like a main story or a, or a side quest. Just, just quickly, my general stats. Yeah, so I've located... 141 locations, done 35 dungeons, been playing for apparently 104 in-game, 143 in-game days. Haven't slept many hours based on how many days have passed. Got a lot of gold apparently. Main quest completed. Yeah, so I've done 11 main quests. Um, sorry about that again. Um, so yes, that's me saying that I need to end the game soon. People killed, killed a lot of people. For a good guy, I've killed a lot of people, but that's because they were trying to kill me. Um, Chillrend is my favourite weapon, apparently. I'm not really a magic guy, I've got to say. As you can see, my favourite spell was healing. So... I have tried to get better with the crafting. Um, and I think the crime stuff is because certain missions require you to get bounties or to actual actually be jailed and stuff like that um like i remember there was one really long one in one of the cities 
where you like broke out of a cave, like a slave cave, um, prison, and you like murdered pretty much the whole city because they were all corrupt or something, something like that. I've stolen a horse, apparently. Yes. So anyway, um, hope you have enjoyed watching this introduction video. Um. No, that's my my wife. So yeah, um, I will be making other videos about this game, like main storylines and uh, side quests and stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time, and peace.